Hi there and welcome to Nottingham MedSoc's second ever virtual AGM. Fortunately, we're not in person yet. The point of this video is you guys understand about all the different roles that are on the MedSoc committee with the upcoming election starting on the Monday 8th of March, which is probably today. Uh, other questions, please do message the individuals that you would like information from and they'll be very, very happy to help. Just on a general note, if you're tempted at all by any positions, I can't emphasize enough, just go for it. I've luckily been on MedSoc for the past three years. Experiences whilst I've been at university. I've been able to be involved in loads of projects, meet loads of great people. And yeah, so if you're worried that you might not have loads of experience, we've got a very stringent handover process to help teach you everything and anything. So if you're tempted, just go for it. I can't emphasize that enough. The point of this slide, just to briefly summarize how the election will work. So we have two rounds of elections. The first begins on Monday the 8th of March uh, with nominations opening then and nominations close on Friday the 12th of March so it's really important if you want to go for one of those roles manifest those in ASAP um, and then the second round of elections is for all the other roles and also it means that if you're unsuccessful in the first round of elections you can go for round of elections which is lovely um, but yeah please uh, just message if you've got any questions and we'll be very very happy to help finally in the info section you can see this timestamps for each individual roles uh, which means that you don't have to listen through all the whole important so just find the role that you want to listen to and click the timestamp enjoy hi there uh, if you're watching this video it means you're interested in the role of president of nottingham medsoc which is very exciting um i've really enjoyed my time in this role and it's split into two halves so firstly you're managing the committee and secondly you're being the leader of nottingham medsoc which is a society with up to about 1500 students because all medical students are members of MedSoc. But yeah, going back to the first half, uh, you are to ensure that everyone is doing their jobs in the committee and society is maintaining the high standards. This sounds quite daunting because there's about 20 people on the committee, which is quite abnormally big. But luckily, the key is just to work really closely with your vice presidents who will be able to help you out massively. So I'm very grateful for Sid and Jay for being my VPs. Um, and more importantly, it's actually ensuring that everyone on the committee is just happy and OK. Um, lots and lots of things go on throughout the year. Of course, this year has been slightly different, but still it's been very busy and we all have our own courses to do as well. Um, so with our committee, I've always let them know that if they're struggling, let me know and I can jiggle things about, uh, make sure that they're less stressed or kind of get the help involved that they need. So yeah, the two key things with the committee is ensuring people doing their jobs, but ensuring that everybody's happy as well. Um, you also provide like, you're, you are the port of call for advice on who to contact, yes, no decisions. Um, examples might be sponsorships, for instance. So Alicia is always messaging me without saying, oh, is this sponsorship okay? Is this contract okay? And also decisions about events. So of course, unfortunately, I had to say no to a lot of the in-person events, but saying yes to a lot of kind of the virtual things we wanted to do, which is great. Um, again, this sounds like a lot of pressure, but you've got a brilliant committee who can support you. And I myself in my handover will sh show you all the relevant people you want to speak to when it comes to these decisions, be it members of the medical school staff or the SU. Also, in the committee, you are chairing the committee meetings, which I've really enjoyed. Um, it's again, it's just easier to help us putting together an agenda, asking people if they want to add things to it, and then just for us, it was on Microsoft Teams, but it'd be great for you guys, hopefully, to meet in person. So, yeah, that's kind of the committee side of things. When it comes to being the leader of Nottingham MedStock, most importantly and excitingly is all the email accounts that you'll then have. So, there are about three email accounts, which again sounds quite daunting. Um, but it's just a case of just managing them and what I do is most of the emails come through is external societies or kind of organisations asking you to promote things and this year we've created to, to Nottingham Medical Student Facebook opportunities which is brilliant because you just copy and paste the reply all the way through so again it's important to keep on top of it but it's really not too bad if you manage it well. Um, my role also involves organising AGMs and elections such as this one. Um, so this is our virtual AGM. However, I'm also wanting to plan a virtual showcase in a few weeks time so that everybody can know what we've managed to get up to in the past 10 months, despite COVID, which will be very exciting. You also have an array of monthly meetings with the SU, senior members of the med school. And this has been absolutely invaluable because more often than not, they're just offering their help, which is exactly what you need. And they're a lot bigger and wiser than me. <laughs> Also, you'll have involvement with the Undergraduate Admissions Committee, helping out with kind of the interviews and stuff, which has been really, really interesting. I can't recommend this enough. 
Um, and then just other meetings with anyone and everyone, email might come through, there might be an opportunity for you to get involved in. Um, I'll just again, the wide array of experiences is huge. I've took lead in several projects across the year. So for instance, managed the virtual MedTalk induction with the vice president. I produced a video and wrote a blog post for the 50, 30 year anniversary of the med school and the nursing school, and also organized the final year's revision session a couple of weeks back and several other things. So yeah, your role as president is you can take on however many projects you really want. Um, and it's again, very, very broad experience as you can imagine. And yeah, it's brilliant. Also, you are a representative at open days, off holder days. I'm sure there's lots of other things, but you, you'll learn that on the job. And if you're successful, I'll pass them on in the handover. Um, my advice is there is a lot to do and it's a very, very big chunk of responsibility. Um, however, it, I can't emphasize enough how rewarding it has been. Um, so yeah, it is very possible with very good time management and an excellent team, which I'm very fortunate to have. And I'm sure my successor will have a brilliant team as well. Um, yeah, so it's really rewarding. You get to experience so much and it is really an amazing chance for leadership. So in the future, when you're on the wards in a consultant position or as a leader of a small team, I can definitely say that I've learned so many lessons in the past 10 months about managing projects, bringing the best out of people, etc. into it. So if you're interested, go for it and please message me. If you want to ask any more questions, uh, I'll be very happy to help. But yeah, best of luck. So hi everyone, my name's Roshni and I was the treasurer for MedSoc this year. So as treasurer, your main role is to be responsible for money that comes in and out of the various MedSoc accounts. So MedSoc has around four accounts that you need to keep an eye on and that can add up to a lot of money. So I'd say the main thing with being treasurer um, is that if anything goes wrong with the money coming in or out of the account, then it falls on you. So it is quite a big responsibility to have um, within MedSoc. But don't worry too much about that because there's loads of help available um, from the SU and from everyone on committee as well. The other thing you need to do is work closely with members of committee, whether this be to help them run events um, or to buy things for, for example, welfare week. Um, and you also might get questions from other societies as well. Like they might ask you to have a look at their accounts um, because as treasurer of MedSoc, you have um, access to all their accounts as well. Um, and, or they might be asking you to help with things like funding. So I think that a good characteristics of a treasurer is that you need to be responsible um, and be able to deal with lots of responsibility, um, as well as working well in a team um, and being able to compromise um, and also being organised. Because I think as long as you stay on top of everything, um, you'll be able to manage the workload that comes with being treasurer. I think being treasurer is one of the best roles on committee um, even that, if that is a slightly biased opinion. But I think it's because you get to do a bit of everything. Um, for example, with events run, you get to help out with that. Or Welfare Week, you get to help out with that too. Um, it's an even spread of your time throughout the year. Um, so for example, with events, um, you might need to spend more time um, at like, say example, Christmas when there's the um, winter ball with treasurer um, is just an even spread of your time throughout the year, which I think is quite nice. So if anyone is thinking about running for treasurer, um, even just slightly, I definitely recommend going for it um, because it's a great role and it's a great way to get involved um, with, with MedSoc. Um, so yeah, and also if anybody has any questions, then please feel free to message me, but good luck. Hi everyone, my name is Pradipta. I'm the current general secretary of MedSoc. And I would definitely recommend this role to literally everybody and anybody because it is not only very rewarding, but also it, it does not involve much work, honestly. So in terms of your main task, it's going to be organizing the freshers fair. So pre-COVID, what normally happens is the A floor is booked and you have to um, invite the societies over, invite um, some sponsors and then liaise with the SU to um, book the tables as well as order dominoes as well, which is great. But um, don't worry too much about it. It's really easy because the SU is very um, helpful with regards to that. But unfortunately, uh, we couldn't do that because of COVID. So hopefully um, that will be possible in the future. And if that isn't possible in the next academic year, you might 
probably look into uh, online version that I did. So what I did was actually um, worked with people in the community and made sure I interviewed every single um, medical school society. So that was around 50 -ish societies and um, sponsors as well, where we asked main questions such as um, what is the purpose of the society? What are their plans for COVID? What are, what are the events they usually do? And also um, plug their social media so that people can um, get to know more about those societies. So it sounds very, very difficult, honestly, initially. But trust me, everyone is very, very uh, cooperative and they would love to help you. So um, it's a team effort and I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. Um, after that, uh, your role is pretty um, simple, to be honest. Um, you just help in uh, other committee members and um, take minutes in meetings and just organize them as well. So it isn't that difficult. I would highly, highly recommend. And it, I think is a good way to like meet other people as well. So definitely recommend, hope you, you all apply. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Facebook. Uh, my name is Pradipta Debnath, or just email me at mzypd3 at nottingham.ac.uk. Best of luck. Hi everyone, my name is Krishna and I was the events officer for MedStock this year. So this role usually involves the organisation of some large events in the academic year, including winter ball, halfway there ball and a large summer party. As I'm sure you're aware, due to COVID, we couldn't have any of these events this year, but hopefully we will be able to have these events in the near future. So with each event, you have complete creative control over every aspect of the event. So you can control and choose the venue, the food, the decor, the entertainment. So you can be as creative as you'd like. Um, with these events, because there are such large events in the academic year, um, they're enjoyed by students from all years and they form some of their fondest memories. So it's a privilege to be a part of being able to organise these events and be a part of these memories. Um, I would also say that being on MedStock itself is very rewarding. Not only do you get to meet great new people, you get to work with them and see different sides to everyone um, in a fun and relaxed environment. So there's always something or the other going on as well. So you can help out beyond your role and get stuck in with different things. So for example, I was able to help out with um, the welcome for freshers. And also I was able to organize medics matchmaking alongside Alicia, who's the sponsorship officer, which was really fun. Um, so I would say that if you're a person who really enjoys being creative and loves organizing, that you should apply for this role because you'll be able to carry out these large events um, and gain so many new skills and work with so many new people on committee. And it's just such a lovely place to be and work with such supportive people. So I would definitely recommend um, applying for this role. There's always something or the other that you can always get stuck in as well, like I said. So there's never a dull moment being on committee. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to message me, but good luck with your application. And I would highly recommend anyone to apply for this role. Hi everyone, my name's Ellie and I have been your welfare officer for this year. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a lowdown about what my role is and why you should apply for my position if you fancy it. Um, my main role um, has been to keep the social media updated and updated with welfare and well-being content. For instance, I made the um, lockdown well-being toolkit, which had loads of cool resources and just fun little bits um, on. So you can go check that out on the Instagram. Um, some other things that I've been doing is I was very involved in Freshers Week. I made a walking bus video. Normally this would be done in person and I would organise second years to go um, look after the freshers on their first day and basically guide them to the medical school. Um, we couldn't do that so I made a video and again you can see that on the YouTube. Um, another thing that we did in Freshers Week was um, we did like committee Q&As and other things just to get the freshers involved in their first week as it already was very, very different to what they were expecting. Um, some other things that I did this year, um, mainly the two big ones were the two welfare weeks. These were virtual, again, different because of COVID. Um, but we had loads of different things like um, online talks. So one was about like creativity in medicine. We involved the BMA um, and they did some welfare talks for us. 
Um, we also ho held two charity competitions, so the MasterChef and the Bake Off, which were both very, very um, successful. And those also socials, socials going on. Um, so yeah, they were two busy points in the year, but it probably would be quite different for you as it's um, it would be in person. Um, anything else that I did, I had meetings with the um, welfare head of the med school. Um, me and Pascal t like spoke and had meetings with Pam Hagen. I was also part of the um, SU Welfare and Wellbeing Committee. So that was just having contact with like Emily Coleman, who is the SU Welfare Officer currently, um, and finding out the like central communication from the uni about welfare. Overall, I think it's a cracking role and I had lots of fun doing it, but was quite busy. Anyway, I'd recommend it to anyone. Feel free to drop me a message on Facebook if you have any questions at all about the role and I'll try answer them best I can. Hey everyone, my name is Sid and I'm the Vice President for Events of MedSoc this year. Firstly, before I detail my role, I'd just like to say I'd highly encourage all of you to really get involved in MedSoc. Um, definitely apply for one position or the other. Um, you know, there's something for everyone. Um, I've been on MedSoc for three years now and I've really, really enjoyed every single minute of it. Um, and it's been really, really fun. And there's a lot of perks involved in it. So definitely, definitely apply. Um, so about my role. So I'm the vice president for events. Um, it's a fairly good role. I, I've really enjoyed it. The main role really as a vice president, there are two vice presidents, um, are really to support the president. Um, so obviously the president is quite busy throughout the year. There's a lot of different tasks. And so you're kind of that second person in command to kind of um, help the president out with any certain tasks that need doing um, and also help out in any any way really, really in terms of the committee and other things. Um, and so you work really closely with the president and the other vice president in doing this. Particularly as the vice president of events, you tend to work really closely with the social sex and also the ENTS rep in terms of managing the event side of things. Um, so like particularly I worked quite closely with the social sex this year in organising some virtual socials we did because of COVID, obviously. Um, but hopefully things are back to normal, you know, whatever events are kind of organised, you'll kind of be leading the social sex and the ENTS rep um, in terms of answering any queries they need, any help, um, and then you'll likely report, report the progress back to the president. Um, but yeah, it's really, really fun as you get involved in the event side of things. Um, and so, yeah, I really, really enjoy that. And so that's mainly the key role of it. So sorting out the event side of things in, in terms of working closely with certain committee members um, and then also just being a second kind of person to help the president. Also particularly two specific tasks also that the vice president for events does are organising um, the MedSoc committee video um, and so you work with a public publicity officer to do this um, and so yeah that's really really fun. That's the first thing that you do at the start of the year. And then also ordering the committee stash. So just getting in touch with whatever company it normally is and then just, you know, choosing a design and getting that ordered. Um, but other than that, it's quite a chilled role and it's really, really fun. Um, and it's a good position of responsibility. So yeah, I definitely highly encourage you to get involved. And if you ever need any, um, if you've got any questions about the role at all, you can message me on Facebook. Um, my name is Sadiq Abubaker, it's written here. Um, and also my email is mzysa22 at nottingham.ac.uk. So yeah, any queries, just email me. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to this year's virtual AGM for the MedSoc committee. My name is Jay and this year I was the Vice President for Activities and Welfare. Um, the roles for this position include taking on the duties of the President, either through their absence or through delegation. So really just being there for the President and helping them out. Um, to be the first port of call for society, sports or welfare officers to help with um, any problems they have and if necessary report to the president and also to oversee the organisation of Varsity and Welfare Week. So really just helping the um, welfare and sports officers. Um, overall, I really enjoyed my position on committee this year. Um, despite it being a tough year and us not being able to do everything we wanted, we, it still went um successfully for us um i think it was a good experience to be on committee um nice to meet new people across the different years um and to get a new perspective on things especially on being on the committee and the running of medsoc um and i would say if you feel up to the challenge then definitely just go for it
Thank you. Hi, my name is Delan and I'm second year rep. Hi everyone, my name is Navia and I'm the other second year rep. So I'm going to be talking about what me and Navia did this year during the COVID pandemic and how we adapted our role. So our first role was pretty much the same as the second year reps before us. We had to match up parents and kids in freshers and second year, which require a lot of organisation and this would be before term starts. So you really have to work well with your other second year rep. And this is so that the freshers have a good support system for before they come into university and throughout their time as a med medical student. So our second role was during welfare week, we organised a pub quiz instead of the cocktail party, which Navi will talk more about, but it's really just a social for the medic families to get them get to know each other better. And this requires a lot of teamwork with events and social sec committee members. Also, because second years have a lot more free time than other years in committee, you're required to help out where you can with their roles too, and you need to be ready to do this. Also, you need to be an, a very approachable person overall because a lot of the freshers will come up to you if um, they don't speak to their medic mum or dad for whatever reason, or if they haven't been able to make friends, or if they're struggling with workload. So you really have to be approachable and friendly. And also you have a large role in helping to organise socials for your year and the first years with the social sex. So teamwork in general is really required. Yeah, so obviously in a COVID free year, this would have been totally different. Um, so aside from the medic parenting scheme, which we managed to do, thankfully, um, at the beginning of the year, we'd be organising a welcome ball for the freshers, which is essentially in, I think, the first few weeks of term where all the freshers come together and they just really have a lot of fun. Because I know for me personally, I made um, a lot of friends during the welcome ball. So it's a really nice event. And um, the second one, like Delan mentioned, was the cocktail party. So obviously you've been paired up with your medic parents now. And in your groups, in your medic families, with your second years and your first years, and maybe even your grandparents, who knows, you go to Ocean and again, it's just a really nice environment because everyone's so welcoming and friendly. And again, another really good chance to make friends and just get to know the city a little bit better from people that have lived there like a year and maybe more. And uh, moving away from this, we also would have organized the boat party and that normally happens in around March springtime when the weather's getting a little bit better. And so for that, again, you'd have to liaise with events and other committee members. So again, teamwork is super important for this role. And so it's just being friendly and approachable. Because again, like, I think you're also in a really good position because you've just had first year. So you know what it's like. And you're at a really good um, position to be able to tell the freshers what that's like. So yeah, hopefully for you guys, you get, you'll be able to organize a lot more events than we did. So aside from the big main three, the cocktail party, welcome ball and the boat party, you also organise just mini socials for freshers and your year. So we used to have the ward round and also post formative bashes, which second years get involved with in as well as like the social sex and first year reps as well. Um, but yeah, so just if you're interested in this role, totally apply for it. It's really fun. We had a blast this year despite COVID and you get to know some really lovely people in committee as well. So yeah, good luck. good luck. Hello, my name is Ellie. I've been the fourth year or CP2 rep on the MedSoc committee for the last three months. The main responsibility of the role is to promote MedSoc within your year group and to act as a point of communication between students in your year and the MedSoc committee. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'll be very happy to help you and wishing you the very best of luck for your application. Hi, my name is Ibrahim and I am MedSoc's final year rep. Um, so I've been the final year rep during this pandemic year and some of the things that I've done this year is help organise a mock OSCE for my year group. 
Um, my role as a fifth year group, uh, fifth year uh, rep would involve me uh, talking to my year group, seeing what kind of problems they've been having, seeing how Medsoc can help them. And especially during the pand- pandemic, it's been about sort of organising anything online, being able to help out with the welfare weeks, and just in general sort of giving advice and helping um, the other year reps uh, with med school. I definitely recommend becoming the fine year rep. It's a very enjoyable, very rewarding job, and you'll be able to get involved with the inner workings of med school, which I always think is really useful. Hi, my name is Anjali, and I was your MedSoc Society's coordinator for the last year. My role involves managing all the different societies under MedSoc, all the way from introducing new ones to ensuring that the current ones are active and sometimes even disbanding some. My role was to help different groups with the process of application and to ensure that they feel well supported throughout this process. During this time, I was also responsible for checking in with the existing societies to discuss their plans for the upcoming year and to ensure that they stay active. Of course, due to COVID this year, many societies were not able to go ahead with their usual activities but it was incredible to see all the effort that they put in to adapt their events to a digital platform. It's so important to ensure that committee members get the recognition they deserved, so part of my role involved issuing certificates for committee members. This year, I also worked with Dennis, the SU Activities Officer, and Pascal, our MedSoc President, to allocate funding to our existing societies so they can carry on with their projects. As well as this, I was part of the panel to decide whether new societies should become affiliated to MedSoc or not, and being able to do this was so cool and exciting. As well as this, I worked with our wonderful publicity officer, Sanjana, to bring together the Society Spotlight series on our social media. This was a great way to showcase the vast number of active societies in MedSoc and share some of the incredible things that the students are working on. I would say that if you're someone that is organised, um, that enjoys admin work and enjoys working with different people, then this is a role you should definitely consider applying for. All of the MedSoc committee members become part of this really supportive and friendly bubble um, and there I had definitely a lot of fun being part of it. And of course, with this role, you can also get involved in helping with other events run by MedSoc, so there is always something you can do. If you have any more questions, please feel free to just message me on Facebook and I'd be very happy to have a chat. Thank you and good luck. Hello everyone, my name is Arby Hassan and I'm the 2021 Sports Officer. Firstly, I'd like to say that if you're interested in joining the committee, I would definitely recommend to do so. It's a great opportunity to meet some great new people and do some really cool things. The Sports Officer role is to be a point of contact between all the MedSoc sports and the MedSoc itself. But more importantly, you are tasked with organising varsity against the Leicester Medics. Unfortunately, this year we couldn't do that because of COVID. But usually the way it works is that one year we will go to them and the other year they will come to us. And the decision still needs to be made about where we're going to sort of go with that. Essentially, if they come to Nottingham, you need to book a date with Leicester, pick out pitches um, and sort somewhere else to go for a night out. If, if Nottingham are going to Leicester, then all you need to do is book some transport there and back. It sounds like a lot, but there are some, this is the great thing about MedSoc, is that everyone is willing to get involved and there's loads of resources available and people who you can discuss with in order to make the process as smooth as possible. So if you're someone who's a bit organised and likes to do this kind of stuff, I would definitely recommend running for sports officer. It looks great on a CV and it's great fun and you get to meet a lot of great new people. So hope you like it and I wish you the best of luck. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Sanjana and I was the publicity officer for MedSoc this year. My two main roles were to create promotional material for all of the MedSoc events, socials and announcements. Hey Siri, help me find a valentine. I don't have the facilities for that big man. Also to collate and design the freshers welcome to medical school booklet called bedpans and dipsticks. This is obviously just a very general description. The role is really what you want it to be. This year, everything went online and we all had to adapt and really integrate our social media into creating an online presence for MedSoc. This involved making posts and other material for the MedSoc Instagram, Facebook and Twitter pages and even making use of our YouTube page. One of the best things about this role is that it allows you to work with almost every single member of committee and even other societies and sports team. For example, 
I was able to work with Sid, one of our vice presidents, in making our intro to the committee video at the start of the year. I was also able to co-author the International Student Guide with Polymy, our international student representative. I was also able to work with Anjali, our society's coordinator, to create the Society Spotlight series. This series was a bi-weekly feature of the various societies in our medical school and we made it so that freshers and other interested students could get to learn about them. I was also able to work with Pascal, the president, and Lily, the website and communications officer, to design our first ever newsletter, Metsoc et al. The list goes on and on and I'm not trying to overwhelm you because every committee member gets to work with each other in this way. It's a really great and a really social role. It's really fun and it's very manageable with the workload for a second year and you can really take charge of your role. If you have ideas or suggestions about how we already do things or if you can think of new ways to do things, you definitely can do that. You can definitely make more roles for yourself in the committee and work with everyone to do that. I had a lot of fun this year. I hope whoever is publicity officer next year has as much fun as I did, if not more. If you have any questions about my role, feel free to message me on Instagram or Facebook. I'll be more than happy to help you with your application and good luck. Hi everyone, my name is Lily and I am the website and communications officer for this year for MedSoc. My role entails basically keeping the website up to date with committee profiles and the latest events, as well as handling some of the other communications. One of the biggest things um, that I was involved with this year was the Termini newsletter, which included features from um, pupils and staff and lots of other things. Um, it went down really well and I'm looking forward to doing the subsequent ones for the rest of this year. Um, I didn't have any website experience before I sort of applied for this role, but it turns out you don't really need any and I learned on the job. And to be honest, if you apply and you do have website experience, you'll definitely be better than me. Um, I wanted a small med talk role. I just wanted to be involved in a great society um, and meet new people, have a good time. And that's exactly what's happened. My role's not the biggest role, but it's still important. And I've really had a good time. I've really learned a lot and had a great committee around me. So I would definitely encourage you to apply. Good luck, guys. Hi, I'm Anisha and I was this year's charity rep um, and so some of the things I was involved in this year was starting off the Let's Volunteer initiative which is basically trying to encourage um, medical students to volunteer and get involved in the local community. So I started up the bulletin which is just collating all the volunteering opportunities I could find onto one page and like advertising that on a monthly basis um, as well as advertising um, and showcasing um, medical students who volunteer and the benefits and advantages of volunteering in the local community. Um, I was also involved in organising the MedSoc fleeces which will hopefully be available in May or June of this year um, with all the proceeds from that going to a local charity and I was also involved in helping select and fundraise for um, some of the welfare events and um, medics matchmaking. Um, becoming charity rep is such a fun job. Um, I've really enjoyed it and I would really recommend it to anyone um, who's interested. If you do have any questions, feel free to just like DM me or anything. Hi there, my name's Alicia and I'm the current sponsorship officer for MedSoc and I'm going to tell you about what the role entails. So first of all, you need to sort out the MedSoc card, which unfortunately was not able to go ahead this year due to COVID because a lot of businesses were closed but you have to get in touch with local businesses across Nottingham and ask them if they'd like to be part of the scheme so you can get in touch with places such as restaurants, bars, nightclubs, hairdressers, anything you can think of really uh, and students are able to buy this card and use it across the five years that they have at medical school and it really helps them discover Nottingham at a reduced price so it's really useful and then Next of all, we already have quite a lot of contacts uh, with companies such as the BMA, the MDU and Wesleyan. So you need to reach out to them or they'll reach out to you and arrange a contract. So you have to fill out the contract and get that sent off to the SU who will process it. And the money will go into the MedSoc account, which can be used on events and other activities. And throughout the year, these sponsors might ask you to publicise things for them via social media or emails and they might put on talks and attend events such as the welcome ball and varsity and things like that so you get to work with different members of the committee such as publicity the events officer the sports officer to do things like this and then completely unrelated to this if you have any ideas of events or things that you want to do uh, within the committee so for example I had the idea of medics matchmaking so I pitched this to the committee and 
we were able to go ahead with it. So this was part of Welfare Week and we raised a lot of money for charity through this. So the committee is all, everyone in the committee is really welcoming and friendly. So I would definitely recommend applying if you are organised and enjoy a challenge. Um, you get to meet a lot of new people and do new tasks, which has been really interesting. And best of all, you get a lovely polo shirt. So what's not to love? If you have any questions, feel free to email me at mzyag11 or message me on Facebook. My name is Alicia Gupta and best of luck with your application. We are professionals. Action. Ready. Okay. Hi everyone, um, I'm Hannah. I'm Arnav. And we were your social sex for 2020. Um, obviously 2020 was a bit of an unusual year. Um, we didn't quite get to do everything that we wanted to do. Um, but we're sure that next year everyone's going to be so excited to get involved with socials and we're going to tell you a little bit today about why you should apply to be next year's social secretaries. So the role of a social secretary is obviously to uh, organise socials. Pretty much explains it in the title. Um, you'll be organising after parties uh, for all the various balls and events that are going on as well as some socials throughout the year. Big one being cocktail party, huge social and uh, it's really fun to organise so I've heard. Um, <laughs> and uh, there's uh, this year we've had to organise online socials. Uh, I doubt that'd be a problem for anyone that's applying for this role for next year, but could be could could happen. But to organise socials, you really need to be sort of imaginative um, and try to try to organise something that everyone will enjoy. You'll be organising them for maybe first and second years, but socials can be arranged for anyone all the way from years one to five. So make sure you try, you can think of things that will be great for all years involved. Yeah, so a bit more about the kind of person that I think should be good um, for applying to be a social secretary would be someone who's fun or likes to have fun, is a bit outgoing and um, has a little bit of spare time on their hands and um, because obviously do socials do take a little bit of work to prepare um, but MedSoc is a great team and so many people will help you along the way um, don't worry if you think you're going to be overwhelmed because it's been it's been a good ride um, so yeah if you like a night out that's a good thing to go for however even if you don't if you don't drink don't worry about it and um, we could always do with some more non-alcoholic socials so I'm sure everyone will want to be in a club next year um, yeah lovely um some perks of the, uh, the, the job are a free ocean entry, which I'm sure everyone would love. Um, you also get to attend the National uh, MedSoc Conference, which I've heard is a huge, huge weekend out. Fantastic, loads of, loads of things going on. And it's a great thing to put on your CV as well. Um, so I'm sure anyone interested will really benefit from the perks of the role. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously we are so upset that we didn't get to do um, the normal things like we would do this year, but this just means that we're always here to help. If you've got any questions next year, we'll always be on hand to help you guys out and help with the planning if you want us there. Um, so yeah, I would really encourage anyone to go for it. You'll have a great year and a great time. And if anything, you'll make some good friends and that's yeah. worth it in the end. Um, if anyone applying has any more questions about the role, feel free to shoot a question over to me or Hannah on Facebook or Instagram, wherever you can find us. Um, and best of luck for the future and good luck to those applying. Nice one. Good luck, guys. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Bolomi and I'm this year's International Rep for MedSoc Committee. My role involved being a link between international medical students and the medical school and ensuring that any questions, concerns or worries that students might have had were addressed as soon as possible. More specifically, this year I set up the International Medical Student Facebook page um, to allow students of all years to communicate with each other and ask any specific questions they might have. I also co-authored the International Student Guide, which was targeted towards incoming first years to tell them what to expect once they get here, um, you know, places they can go and things they can do. And I also addressed the international first years in their first week to welcome them to Nottingham and tell them a little bit about the student experience. Um, in addition to this, I also had loads and loads of opportunities to help out with all of the other activities that MedSoc was doing, which was really good fun because I could help organize them, plan them, run them, and get to know rest the rest of the committee through that. Um, and that's a really great thing about being on MedSoc committee. Everyone's a really supportive. It's all a big team and anything you want to do, you can do and everyone will help out with it. So I'd say this role is good for someone who's interested in representing international students. 
has ideas on how to make the international student experience better, more inclusive, more welcoming, and someone who just wants to do a little bit of everything. If you're considering applying, I'd highly recommend it. And please feel free to message me on Facebook or send me an email and I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kea. I'm the BME officer for 2020 to 2021 for MedSoc. My role this year included trying to create a more diverse and inclusive environment for ethnic minority students in the medical school community. This year, I achieved this by doing a range of different things. Um, for example, I created posts for Black History Month for the MedSoc Instagram page that looked at 12 influential figures um, of a black background and their role in healthcare. Um, as well as this, I also hosted a BME takeover um, with BME Medics and ACMN, which was hugely successful. Um, I also hosted a talk for Holocaust Memorial Day um, in which a guest speaker spoke about the impact of psychiatric patients on the Holocaust, which was really interesting. Um, as well as this, I've also been in charge of organising posts and stories for different festivals that many students of different ethnicities have celebrated this year. And yes, I'm excited to hand over my role to someone new next year. So this year, MedSoc are very excited to announce a new position on committee. Um, and this is the LGBT officer for MedSoc. Um, so the roles of this new position are to represent all members of the LGBT community within the medical school, um, ensuring the community is appropriately considered at all MedSoc events, uh, to form a link with the LGBT SU officer and the LGBT plus network um, within the SU to help um, develop and promote representation of the LGBT community within the medical school and also to organise campaigns for the LGBT History Month and for Pride um, relating to the medical community and outside of the medical uh, community. Um, I'm really happy we could get this position put in place for this year's committee. Um, it's been in the works all year and it's something we're really happy to be able to present. Thank you.